Hi and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here and I was given a two inch modeler brush recently. Um, it's a Princeton Neptune um, synthetic brush and so I thought I'd try it out here for you. So I did a sky practice, this one here, using it to paint all the washes. Um, I use um, a Princeton brush anyway at the moment for most of my washes. I use their Aqua Elite one and a half inch Mottler. And that was the largest one that I could find when I went looking to buy a synthetic brush um, because I like them as a replacement for the Hartley brushes that I used to use. Um, if we look at this new brush, you can see it's really beautiful. It's got this metal ferrule, like a copper coloured metal, and a beautiful wooden handle. It's very ergonomic. It sits really comfortably in the hand, and you can see that it looks like it's got a really good chisel tip um, to the brush hairs, which, of course, are synthetic. Um, here it is in comparison to my modeler that I use all the time, the Aqua Elite, which is half an inch smaller, but it's got pretty much the same profile, the same style of shape. Uh, the bristles are a different colour, so I'm not sure whether that will make much difference, um, but we'll see how, how it handles um, when I try it out for the sky. I've got some paint left over on my um, palette, so I'll just use that. Um, so I'll use the brush, first of all, to wet the sky. Um, it's a wash brush, and I can tell it, already tell it holds lots of water, and it's delivering that really nice and evenly to the page. I'm using Saunders Waterford cold press watercolour paper. It's taped to my board, and my board's at an angle of about 45 degrees. So this is some raw sienna that I'm just putting it on, painting it wet in wet in my usual way. A nice light value of raw sienna. And um, I'm mixing into some lavender blue at the moment. So I'm going to put that here and there in between the raw sienna and allow that to blend wet in wet with the raw sienna and with the water that's already on the page, leaving a few little um, unpainted areas for white clouds. Here we go with some Payne's Grey, darkening up that sky across the top. But remember, everything lightens as it dries. It won't look quite as dramatic as this. It'll be much softer and much more diffused when it dries. And I'm probably going to use a water spray in a moment just to get those colours to marry and mingle and tip and tilt my board a little uh, just to really get them to blend on the page. But you can see that using the belly of the brush, I can deliver large sweeps of colour using the tips of the brush, really fine amounts of colour. So it seems to me to be very flexible. It's working very much like a, a Harky brush. It's like, a bit like a, using a squirrel mop, but a flat brush version of that, I think. Not quite as soft as a squirrel mop, but not, not quite as much sort of resilience as the goat hair in the Harky brush. You can see I've sprayed it with water now and sprayed a bit more water. I've turned my board around 90 degrees just to get those colours and paints to run and diffuse and give me this beautiful soft sky. Just using the tips of the brush to soften some colour and some water here and there just to, um, just to enhance the effects. And I must say, it's a beautiful brush to use. I don't feel like I'm using a new brush at all. It feels exactly the same as my previous brush and it works beautifully. It just covers more area when I want it to. So I've laid my board flat and I'm going to leave it to dry. First of all, just quickly pop in a little bit of a ground plane. I'm not going to bother with that too much. As I say, this is um, just to uh, test out the brush, have a sky practice. And at some point, um, I may paint something onto this wash if it turns out well. But at the moment, all I'm bothered really is seeing how this works as a wash brush. And at the moment, even though everything hasn't dried, I think it's looking really beautiful. So. I'm very impressed with this wonderful new brush and so you'll be seeing a lot more of that I think in demos to come. So here's the wash, it's dry and I hope you'll agree that the soft transitions are really even and beautiful, um, very translucent and transparent. 
Um, I'm really pleased with the fact that without even trying to, I got some some dry brush across the foreground. So there's really good potential there for being able to achieve those really important effects that I use so much in my style, as well as these lovely soft transitions of the washes from light to dark and from one colour to the next. So I can highly recommend this Princeton Neptune two inch modeler. They do other sizes, one and a half inches and one inch ones, I think, um, which I'll probably get some at some point, but highly recommended. And I'll be using that a lot more in my watercolor practice in the future. And let me know if you like this particular wash. If you like it, then um, as I do, then let me know if you want to see what I do with it. And I'll see if I can come up with something um, for the ground plane to turn it into a full watercolour painting. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. Um, we couldn't run this channel without you. Please follow the link if you'd like to support the channel um, to either Morgana or my Patreon pages. See you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.